but Mark Kennedy, victorious manager, joins us pitch side. Well, good night, that. Yeah, really good. Uh, I thought the lads were outstanding. I thought discipline was incredible. Uh, tactical game plan, it's all well and good me standing here and saying that this is what we put in, but to, to have the ability to be coachable and go and execute it, I thought the guys were outstanding. And on the ball in transition, I thought we looked a real danger. Admittedly, both keepers had a quiet game. Um, but I thought we had some really good nearly moments tonight. And I don't think anybody could argue with us taking Sheffield United to penalties tonight. How pleased are you with the discipline shown by your side tonight to execute that game plan? Super, super impressed, but not surprised. I, I see it most weeks. Um, when you play at League One, probably one thing you don't get, or probably one thing that costs a lot of teams is consistency, and that's understandable, but we are incredibly consistent of who we are and what we do. And I talked tonight, I, I was really confident of that happening tonight, but look, if we come here tonight and lose 3-0, would I be really shocked? No, I wouldn't, because they're a Premier League side, but am I really shocked that we've come and had a clean sheet, taken a team to penalties, uh, and won, no, we're not at all, because I see it every day with the group. And I said to them after the game, you know, people say that, really proud of you, and you hear it all the time. You know, the guys should be really, really proud of each other. Um, players, staff, fans, everybody should be really proud to be uh, connected with Lincoln tonight. I know you won't want to, to praise individual players necessarily, but one player I do want to pick out is TJ Omer. We've talked a lot about him in the last couple of weeks. You've talked a lot about his leadership away from the pitch and dealing with the disappointments that he's had. And he came back in tonight and, and was superb. Yeah, he was amazing. Uh, am I surprised? No. It's a really hard one for TJ because he played three or four of the first games and then he hasn't been on. He's not, not on the bench because he's not a good player, he's not on the bench because we have a tactical implementation of who we put a sub and I'm not going to have six centre halves, like I'm not going to have six forwards, so we have to have defenders, we have to have midfielders, we have to have attackers. So he's been really, really unlucky and I, I feel for TJ because I feel we've got a very, very close relationship and one of the reasons it's been so close is because we have, we've had a lot of conversations since I've been at the club, sometimes about disappointment, sometimes about not playing, but. Um, he's somebody I really admire as a human being and I say that confidently. He should be very, very proud of how he conducts himself. He's trained really, really hard and I'm not surprised by his performance. He's a really, really good player. Very proud to have them at the club. And yeah, as you know, you've asked me the question, but was I shocked by his performance? Not at all. He was outstanding, but that's how he's performed since I've been at the club. He was on the wrong side of a Lucas Jensen penalty masterclass last season. He talked in the, the build-up about losing his bottle and that preparation. How pleased are you that he was able to just reset himself and go in and execute again a, a, a superb penalty shootout saves, a couple of saves? Outstanding. Um, I heard, I don't know who was, well, we do, somebody threw the, their bottle into the crowd, but you know, Logan deserves a huge amount of credit for the stuff we do to now. Scott Froy again outstanding. Lucas to have the ability to go and execute that. Uh, Jordan Wright for how he pushes them day in, day out. Like Jordan will be bitterly disappointed he didn't play tonight. Um, but we see the level of Lucas because of the qualities that Jordan shows us day in, day out. But, you know, when we played Accrington last year, really confident that we'd get through to the next round because of Jordan Wright in goal and he saves a lot of pounds and he got us to that. But when I seen Lucas in goal, I was like, Jesus, really? And normally he's good, he's, his confidence, his agility. He's a really good goalkeeper, he's a really good shot stopper. And if you're taking the penalty, you get Lucas, you're stepping up thinking, I have to literally bury this in the corner. So it puts doubt on the people's heads. You know, I'm fine talking about Lucas because he deserves all the credit, but everybody played their part tonight. Subs that come on, lads who started, staff, people in the background. You know, big, big, big night for everybody. You've had some great away days while you've been here as manager, both in league and cup. Where does this rank? Um, amazing, it's a Premier League club. Um, to come away from home, be so good, out of possession. We were very good at times in possession. Clean sheet away from home against Premier League side is not easy. Um, and I thought we, I thought we deserved that. And I say that respectfully because I'm not saying we should have won two or three nil. I'm not saying we were better than Paul's team, but I thought we earned the right to go to penalties. Bit of a lottery after that, but yeah, it's it's as good as night as anybody's had. And you know, it wasn't a massive crowd tonight, but we had three thousand fans. You know, it, it was electric for us. It felt like a home game. And when you get to penalties, there's just that. You know how galling would it be to go away to be so near and yet actually you can be so far so 
just really, really pleased for the fans that they get the rewards that I think they'll feel the players deserved as a team. Uh, Rode a look at, a little bit towards the last 10 minutes, but yeah, I thought we deserved it in the end. But I couldn't argue with Sheffield United to come away. I'm not saying we should have won two or two, Jesus Christ, not at all. Um, but a brilliant night for the club. Um, ben House came off at half time. Was that always planned with Saturday in mind, or is no. he picks or not? Um, I don't know, to be honest. I, I, I'm really, really respectful of the staff. I keep saying to stay in your lane. We came in, the guys were like, um, I think it was his hip, blah, blah. I said, you want him to stay? He said, I'll take him off. I'm like, well, get him off then, no problem. Uh, so I don't know how good or bad that is, but we've got brilliant staff and, you know, good leadership is letting people grow, letting people, giving them autonomy to make, autonomy to make decisions. And that's what we do with the staff. And um, our sports science, performance and medical department, we're very, very, very lucky to have. So, um, and that's what substitutes are for. Um Finally, let's uh, say it's a quick turnaround to Bristol Rovers on, on Saturday, but one thing that will be in there is confidence and, and joy and happiness. Yeah, for sure, and that's what winning gives you. I mean, unfortunately, to lose a cup toy, you have to taste defeat, and nobody enjoys that, so nobody enjoys losing games, and likewise, winning games breeds confidence. It, it just looked, Tonight was just evidence of what we've done for 15 months, not six weeks, 10 weeks, six months. So. Um, it just emphasises what I think we're doing at the club, and we, uh, we don't, we cannot get carried away, you know. Yeah, not getting carried away. It's a great result. Good luck. Well done. Enjoy tonight. Wake up tomorrow. Start again. Hard for the supporters not to, though. No, I know. I get it. I get it. And, and, and do you know what I said to the guys before the game, like without rattling on, because my interviews go on a bit. I talk too much. I understand that, but. I, I took a 23s game, away. 23s football is amazing for what it's for and the reason behind it, but I remember taking a 23s game, uh, uh, Premier League 23, and stood there thinking this is just really boring, it's not real. And I said to the guys before, tonight is what real football looks like, but you need the 23s football to get to tonight. So there's a reason why I get it, it's brilliant, an outstanding environment to walk in, I loved it. But tonight is what you get up for, win, lose, or draw, like, this is what you come to walk for, so embrace the moment, please God you'll have loads of these in your career again um, but if you can't get excited about things like tonight you know get yourself to the job centre tomorrow and I sort of saw it and I was like oh football and learning because I, I, I like a lot of football and what we get is quite a lot of football so it's really good definitely encourage other people because like I'm in a situation where I might even want to go into the police force and even though it, you're doing your sport, you're still getting your football, you're still getting your 3A levels out of it so you can actually get your UCAS points or get your 3A levels to go on to even different courses as long as you've got your grades as well as playing football so it's sort of like a, it's just a good course to do I think.